Apart from the actual design of a watch, its size is probably the most important thing that determines whether or not it's for you. Not only do the dimensions of a watch affect how it looks on your wrist, but they also affect how comfortable the watch is to wear. Which is why we decided to release our best-selling three-hand collection in a more compact 36mm size. For this new range, we kept all the other specs the same, and I should also stress that if you do prefer the larger 39.5mm case, that size is still available. There are four models in the 36mm range, and they are the Resolute, the Resolute Sorbet, the Erebus Midnight, and the Discovery Red. And I'm quickly going to go through the design of each one for you. First up is the 36mm Resolute, which has the same dial as the original 39.5mm model. The dial is a glossy pure white, and the numerals are made from solid blocks of ice blue superluminova. These are then topped with a matte black finish so that they're very easy to read. The syringe hands have a glossy black finish and icy loom to match these, and let me tell you, the watch is a sight to behold in the dark. Next is the Resolute Sorbet, and as you can guess from the name, it follows the same dial layout as the Resolute, but offers a more adventurous colour palette, with a peach coloured dial, custard yellow loom, and blue hands and printing. So it keeps that very contemporary look of the Resolute, but dare I say it, it feels a bit more fun. The third watch in the range is the Erebus Midnight, which is the most formal model in the 36mm collection, with a glossy midnight blue dial. There's no loom on this model, and the hands are instead skeletonized in order to provide a really clean layout. However, both the hands and applied markers have a mirror finish, so that when they catch the light, they really pop out against the dark dial. For a dash of colour, we printed red numerals at 5 second intervals along the minute track, and the fair array at the tip of the seconds hand is pure white. Lastly, we have the Discovery Red, which has to be the boldest style of the collection. The rich cherry red dial is extremely eye-catching, especially when paired with our rocket red granola leather strap. The centre of the dial has a vertical brushed finish that really stands out at you when the light hits it. This makes it look like the dial is separated into two parts, which evokes the classic sector dial design seen on vintage watches. For the hour markers, we went with a combination of applied battens and Arabic numerals at 12, 3, 6, 9. These have a polished finish so that they contrast against the vibrant dial, and they're filled with lots of ice blue superluminova. The syringe handset is filled with the same loom, and also has a mirror polish to match. A final touch of colour is provided by the pastel blue Fera A at the tip of the sweeping seconds hand. So, as you can see, each model offers you something slightly different along the same theme, and other than the dials and handsets, all the other components are the same across the collection. The models have a box sapphire crystal with an internal anti-reflective coating, and they also have an exhibition case back so that you can see the movement ticking away. As to the case itself, in addition to measuring 36mm across, it has a 41.2mm lug to lug, and a lug width of 20mm. By keeping the lug width the same as on the larger models, the 36mm watches actually wear larger than you'd expect them to. On top of that, they're just 10.4mm thick, so they sit very unobtrusively on the wrist. What this means is that the watches look good on a variety of wrists, and both myself and my partner can wear these without them looking too big or small on either of us. For the finishing, the cases have a polished bezel and case sides, with brushed lug tops, which strikes the perfect balance between dressy and toolish. Because we want these watches to be pieces that you really feel like you can wear all day, every day. Turning to the movement, just like their big brothers, the 36mm three-handers use a Swiss Le Joux Perret G101. It's an automatic calibre that has 24 joules, a beat rate of 28,800 beats per hour, and a really impressive 68 hour power reserve. What we at Ferra really like about it though is that, unlike the latest DTA calibres, Le Joux Perret haven't had to drop the beat rate in order to give the G101 that impressive power reserve. Which makes choosing this movement something of a no-brainer for us. Each watch is naturally available on a range of straps, with our usual leather, rubber and mesh options available. 
The watches are priced starting from £890 or 995 US dollars or 1050 euros, with some slight variation depending on your strap choice. You can read more about the whole collection on our website and I'll leave a link down in the description below. Don't forget to let us know what you think of the new 36mm range in the comments and if you enjoyed the video please give it a like. As always thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.